Hello and welcome to this spotlight episode on La Jumelle. A quick look at the first successful steam tender locomotive. La Jumelle was built in 1842 by Jean-Claude Vepillon for the Chamon de Feu de Saint-Étienne at Lyon. The Saint-Étienne railway had been engineered by the famous Marc Seguin and was the first modern railway in France and was also the first to use locomotives. It was worked by a combination of locomotives, horsepower and gravity and was built in a falling gradient all the way from Saint-Étienne down to Lyon to favour loaded coal wagons. However, when the line was modernised in the second half of the 1830s for locomotive working throughout, this meant that there were gradients as steep as a rise of 14 millimetres per metre, which was quite beyond the capabilities of the locomotives of the day. Furthermore, there was a maximum axle load of 10 metric tonnes. Enter stage left, the 44-year-old Jean-Claude Verpillon, who, together with his brother, began experimenting with means of improving the traction of locomotives for the Saint-Étienne railway whilst keeping a low axle load, and in the summer of 1842 turned out his first experimental locomotive, La Jumelle or the Twins. She first ran on the Saint-Étienne railway on the 17th of October 1842. La Jumelle was in essence a fairly standard 040 or if you're French 020 outside cylinder locomotive. But where she departed from the norm was having a second set of powered wheels under the tender. Steam from the boiler was delivered by an articulated pipe which passed over the head of the crew to supply steam for the rear pair of cylinders, the exhaust of which was vented into the atmosphere. Usefully, there was a stop valve on this steam pipe which meant that La Jumelle could also be coupled to a non-powered tender. Vepio and his brother took out a patent for this locomotive on the 26th of September 1842. By November 1844, another seven of these articulated locomotives were in service working the Saint-Étienne railway. They were larger than the original machine with boilers 4 metres long and 1.2 metres in diameter. There were 117 boiler tubes 50 millimetres outside diameter. Whereas La Jumelle had used two steam domes, and in order to increase steam space a unusual copper steam chamber, on the later production locomotives, steam was collected in a semi-cylindrical longitudinal steam donor or reservoir which ran most of the length of the boiler. The outside cylinders had a bore of 22 cm and a stroke of 75 cm. There was a single regulator of the pull-out type for both power units. Each power unit also had its own independent valve gear and its own reversing lever. The driving wheels were 1.24 metres in diameter. In working order, she weighed 35 metric tonnes, with 21 tonnes being at the boiler end and 14 tonnes at the tender end. The weak point in the design was a copper steam reservoir on top of the boiler, which on La Jumelle exploded on the 11th of September 1845 sadly killing two men and wounding several others. A fine of 3,050 francs was levied against the railway company. Despite this tragedy, the Vepio brothers continued to refine this design and in 1857 built the first practical compound locomotive. Again, it was an articulated steam tender design. But whereas on La Jumelle and her sisters, steam was supplied to both sets of cylinders at boiler pressure, with this new compound design, exhaust steam from the leading cylinders was passed to the trailing pair, which were of a larger diameter. Named L'Arce Premier, she was built in 1858. Thanks to the use of a starting valve, it meant that steam at boiler pressure could be admitted to both the high and low pressure cylinders, so that the locomotive worked like a simple locomotive to start a heavy train. And then, when moving, the locomotive could be worked as a compound. It was all very clever, and a full decade before Anatole Mallet had built his first compound locomotive for the Bayonne and Bayerit railway. Furthermore, La Jumelle was built nearly 20 years before Archibald Sturrock in Britain came up with a similar steam tender concept. 
So that's been a quick look at La Jumelle, the first successful articulated steam tender locomotive, whose designer would go on to build the first successful compound locomotive. I hope you have enjoyed this video, and if you have, please leave a comment below. And if you haven't already, please like, share and subscribe. If you feel able, you can also help this channel grow by supporting me through Patreon. And I look forward to seeing you all next time on Rail Story.